Well, I've wanted to record this mastery session for a long time. It's called Powerful Tools to Overcome Pain. And what I want to do in this session is really walk you through the tools I've used in my own life to get through very difficult times. And um, perhaps sometime I'm going to write a book on this because I think it would help a lot of people. I've got these tools that I've developed and that I've optimized and iterated during the times of my life that I was in darkness, during the times of my life that I was confused, during the times of my life where my heart hurt, during the times of my life that I've been in emotional pain. You might see me on stages or watch my videos across all the different social platforms and you might fall into the seduction of thinking that my life is constantly beautiful and I'm always on fire with my craft and to serve but the reality is of course I'm a human being and the very nature of the human experience and our journey together is that we do have times on the summit of success and I have been on that summit of success and we have times walking through the valley of darkness and I've been through those times in the darkness and I have the scars to show them to you. But one thing I've learned is the man I am right now with you in this session is not a result so much as my times on the mountaintop. The man I am with you right now as I speak with as much authenticity as I know how to share is the result of my times in the valley of darkness. And so really that's an insight which is you know if you're going through a divorce right now if you're going through a financial problem right now if you're going through an illness right now if you are going through any form of crisis right now i know you might be you, you might not even want to get out of bed in the morning it might be that bad please remember this crisis comes to serve the person who wants to use it as fuel and you have a choice. You can be a victim and you can let it break you or you can actually ask yourself, how can I use this time in darkness which will not last because you know this, dark times never last. The real question is, how can I leverage the pain? How can I leverage the darkness? How can I leverage the heartbreak so it grows me? So it makes me stronger? So it makes me wiser? So it allows me to tap into the greatest of virtues of humanity so that you shift from being the person you once were before the crisis to a whole new level of wow. And so I want to share with you, you know, I've gone through a divorce and I've gone through some very painful times. And during those times, they were messy. And during those times, I got off my game at times. And during those times, I was confused. But more than anything else, during those times, I felt pain. And how did I get through those times? And how did I navigate the shadows? Well, here are the tools I want to share with you. Number one, journaling has saved my life. I mean, for hundreds and hundreds of years, people in pain have pulled out a fresh blank sheet of paper and poured their pain onto the written page. And now there's science coming out. Science is actually saying when you journal about what's good in your life, even when you feel like nothing's good in your life, you actually release all these neurotransmitters which make you feel better. You've heard me say this before perhaps, gratitude is the antidote to pain. And so journaling, where you process through your pain, I mean the worst thing you can do is what society suggests that you do, escape get busy, forget about it, lose yourself in work. Of course you have to work, of course you have to show up. Your team needs you, life needs you, your family needs you. Life is for the living, I got it. But I don't believe that the answer to get through your pain is to escape in your pain. And too many people do that. And I've read the books that say to do that. You can't motivate yourself out of heartbreak, you've gotta feel yourself through the heartbreak. I mean, I think it's that old Alanis, uh, the, the, the old Alana, Alanis Morissette song. The quickest way out is in. And the wisest amongst us get that. But most people don't. They literally numb themselves to the pain and then they wonder why five years later they have a heart attack. Ten years later, they end up with cancer. And so journaling allows you to process 
through the pain. There are gifts in pain. There is glory in pain. That's how you develop the bravery. That's how you develop the humanity. When I've gone through the most difficult times and I'm in pain, I use it as a servant. And it makes me humble. When the ego starts screaming, pain shuts down that ego pretty quickly. And you look at the greatest amongst us, they have endured the most suffering. Suffering is not a bad thing. Suffering is an awesome thing. The world just says to us, it puts a label on suffering, but you're going to get better if you use strong suffering to your advantage. So journaling is a tool where you actually get to process through the pain, write about your heartbreak or write about your confusion or write about your hurt or write about your misunderstanding, write about the fact that you think it's never going to end, write about your blessings, write about your talents, write about what's good in your life because even in the worst feeling life, you have daylight and you want to focus on that daylight. I probably will do another mastery session on why to journal and how I journal, but just right now, the, the bottom line is install the ritual of journaling every single day and just write what comes to you and write as long as you need to. When I've gone through the dark valleys of my difficult times, seriously, I've written for hours. I've filled 300 pages, I think, I want to be always honest, I think it's 250 or 300 pages in the black journals I write in. I've written through those in weeks, in just a few weeks, because I'm trying to get the pain out. I'm trying to get the confusion out. I'm trying to get the growth out. Okay. Number two, I call these the five ings, by the way. The, let's call them the five ings of overcoming your pain. And the first ing is journaling. The second ing is talking. There's science coming out, research coming out now that says, when you talk about your pain, you release the energy, the pain head that was within you. So what do people do? Again, they stuff down their pain and then they wonder why they get ill. But it's because all of that emotional energy was stuffed down into, into the unconscious. And what you really want to do is tool number two, ing number two, after journaling is talking. Find a trusted advisor Find a great friend. You know, in difficult times, you get to understand who your greatest friends truly are. When I've gone through difficult times, some of the people I thought were my greatest friends, not intentionally, but they were busy in their own lives when I most needed me. And so find that friend who you can talk to and really open yourself up and take down that social mask because talking allows you to release that emotional pain and move through that emotional pain so you do not repress that emotional pain. And you know what? It's not only illness that repression and suppression causes. You block your creativity, you block your humanity, you contract your heart, you close your mind. When you take all of that pain and you pretend it's not there because guess what? It is there. And one of the reasons there are so much anger out on the streets, one of the reasons there's so much toxicity in the workplace is because of people who repress the pain and they think it's not there because they don't feel it because they've escaped from it, but it's in their subconscious. The third ing of overcoming your pain and using it as a fuel and to your advantage. Isn't that a cool idea? Using your pain as a fuel and to your advantage? That I think. Could you imagine what we would, who we would become in business and as creative people and productive people and as leaders in the world if we had a mindset and a core belief that pain is a leverage point to world class? But anyway, that's another mastery session. The third ing is communing. When I am going through my most painful times, I run to the woods. I run to nature. My house is filled with flowers. I do one hour nature walks every day when I'm going through my most difficult times. Because sometimes when I'm going through the hardest times, I don't feel like doing the run. It's a soft time of life. It's a subtle time of life. I've learned to be gentle with myself even though I am an A player. And so the nature allows me to commune with the beauty of life. And I walk and I breathe. What does breathing do 
to move you through the fear of frightening times. What does that do to your neurobiology? So communing with nature is a great tool when you're going through your most difficult time. It allows you to think, it allows you to perspective, well, that word, perspective. You know what? This won't matter two years from now. You know what? It's gonna serve me. You know what? I have a million blessings and I'm focusing on the five, five difficult things right now. Perspective comes from communing with nature and actually, Here's what I really want to say to you. You are part of a larger cosmos, whether you know it or not. And communing with nature allows you not to see the bars of the prison cell, but the stars of the universe. And if you can connect with those every day, my dear friend, you will use your pain as an instrument for your greatest growth. The fourth ing of moving through your pain is moving. You don't have to move streets. I'm not saying move cities. That's actually going through difficult times. You might actually say, I'm going to leave New York and I'm going to go live in Tokyo and that could be fine. But when I say moving, I'm really talking about the importance of exercise. Get off the couch, even when you don't feel like getting off the couch, and go for the walk. Go to the yoga class. Go for the run. Lots of research says, when you find a peer group of people who are doing the thing you want to do, it's the greatest way to sustain the new habit of doing what you want to do. So get to the gym, you know, schedule the classes, maybe it's boxing, maybe it's Tai Chi, maybe it's yoga. But moving will shift your psychology, shift your neurobiology, shift your metabolic rate, release the dopamine that is the motivational neurotransmitter so that even when you're feeling you are suffering and can't do world class, you start to develop the insight and the interior life that gets you moving back into the world. The final ing, tool number five, to move through your valleys of darkness back into the starlight of world class. Because you know as you're going through a difficult time right now, it's, I promise you, I assure you, the clouds will lift. Right, there is sunlight above the clouds, you're just looking at the clouds right now. And they will lift, and crisis has come to teach you the big lesson you're meant to learn to move to your next level and the next chapter of your greatest life. There is an invisible hand at play whether you feel it or not. And maybe I am the servant of information to remind you in this moment right now, what you're experiencing doesn't feel good, but it is good. And there is a power within you that is navigating you through your life that is allowing you the opportunity to learn from what you're experiencing. And it will serve you so well. And that brings me to my fifth ing in terms of a tool to go from where you now are to where you eventually sooner or later will be and that's resting. Our world says, hey, you're a leader. Move, do, achieve. A lot of my videos, a lot of what I teach, a lot of my books, a lot of my courses online or offline are all about productivity, extreme performance, A player, being a titan, changing the world. I believe all of that. But you know what? There are seasons to life, are there not? There are times to plant and there are times to let the fields of your farm lay fallow. And the wise farmer understands the time to plant and the wise farmer understands the time to let those fields be fallow. And what if your time in the darkness of your wilderness away from the world was the season of your greatest growth. And what if there are seasons that are meant for you to rest and to read the great books and to write in the journal and to take those long walks and to rethink your thinking and rewire your life? And what if those times where you think, I am wasting time and your emotional universe fills with guilt because you're not doing and your schedule is not full and you actually feel like you're wasting your life because you're not this epic producer. What if those times were actually a different form of productivity? What if those times were actually being productive in a different way where you're actually 
producing not in the world, but producing within yourself, producing strength, producing new insights, producing new ideas, producing new capabilities, producing new energies, producing new emotions, shifting from fear to love. Because when you go through difficult times, what do you really do if you feel your fear and your pain? You release it. It's out of your system and you grow in love and bravery and strength. What does that do to your craft? What does that do to your power? What does that do to your bravery? What does that do to the light that you bring into the world? You become this incredible force that is undefeatable. And so the final and the fifth insight and tool, take the time to rest. Because just what if that resting is the key to world-class producing? When you get out of the season that you're now in and you get back into your next season of world class. I hope I've been of service to you. I hope this session has been powerful to you. And please remember that you are built to shine. Great things are coming your way. You are not average. The darkness will pass. World class is coming. And you are meant to fly. I'll talk to you soon. Hi, it's Robin. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and definitely go over to robinsharma.com for more information, tools, and resources on mastery, elite performance, and living a world-class life.